Now we are change the cap feeding device from small bottle to big bottle. First is to disassembling the sensor. First is loose this screw and take out this hole check and then loose loose the screw on the Move the whole lifting device. Every time do you have to move this around? Huh? Every time do you have to move this around? No, if you want to move this around, you can move this around. Oh, oh, I understand. But I'm going to move this around. Yes, I think it's going to move this around. Yes, I think it's going to move this around. Yes, I think it's going to move this around. 肯定不要一根一根拆，不然到时候撞死它。我是一个一个拆，拆这一部分。Loose the screw on top of this track. Also the screw on this side. Take out the small bottle fitting check and then change the big bottle part back. Now first is the part on top. We tighten the screw on both sides. Tighten the screw. Now install the part here. We tighten the screw. Actually, this. It also needs to be tested. Try to move the big bottle on this position. You this is just to adjust this width, right? Yes, yes. This handle can, on both sides, can adjust the conveying belt width. Reinstall this fitting track. Yeah, <laughs> 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 Positioning the caps. Make sure the cap is right is on the right position of the mouse, the bottom mouse. And then we tighten the screw. Try to run the machine.
and adjust this pressing cap device. Yeah, make sure it's higher than the bottle top. Also need to increase the height of the capping machine. And lose this handles on both sides of the conveyor to widen to widen the conveying belt loose the screw and move the cylinder on to both sides to widen the bottle